What's going on people? So one of my favorite videos from last year with the mixologist, give her a like, follow up page. We had a great video, but there was one problem that happened. The major thing that came out here is my reflection that was popping out every single time when <laughs> the bottle was facing me. So I should have angled my camera in a way whereby I would not be visible, but how can we fix it? So first thing is to duplicate this layer. You can do it by simply dragging your original folder to the timeline like that. So now put it on top right there. And what we want to do is mask out this small part so that it can trail along with the bottle as it is spinning. Um, so come get your tool right under opacity, click on it and then you can slightly zoom in so that you can have more workspace. So just go right round. Okay, just like that. We'll fix the circle later on. For now, we just need to get, um, just need to get this section out. All right, so if you come right here on motion, in position and scale if you move you can see already i've duplicated this layer but it's not yet done because if i move sideways or anywhere else you can see this part is changing so one thing we can do to make sure that this frame is stagnant the whole way is go to frame hold options so press on frame hold right here so that'll freeze this whole frame all the way. This frame is not moving, right? So now that's done, the interesting part starts. You can enlarge your workspace like this. So if we look carefully, what's happening is I only pop out starting from here. Okay, somewhere there. So that means that's where we need this masking tool to be following the whole bottle up until she picks it up. So click on your folder that, click on the file that has this masking tool, and then go with it right on top of this bottle. So come over to your masking path right here so that you can see what's happening as well. Later on, we can align it properly to at least circle the whole top right here I'll just maybe deal with this part okay okay so as you can see if i move the bottle like i said earlier on this masking part is trailing behind it has to follow the whole bottle so one way we can do that is use keyframes how you can use keyframes is simple, guys. Trust me. Um, just come under position here. Click on position and it will create a keyframe, which is this small guy right here. Okay. So what will happen is as we move forward a frame, we're going to also move with the bottle. Move the frame. Keep moving the top like that. Okay. So if I, if I just like move, you can see I'm like right there, <laughs> right there. And uh, right, it's not yet smooth, but it's a starting point. As you can see, it's trying to follow the whole bottle all the way, all right. So the pot that she picks it up, um, 
this is definitely optional but as it gets to this part i was going to speed ramp it quickly so that she picks it up as the video flows so for now our draft just to see from afar here this is our draft yet okay okay play it so you can see that there are certain sections that are like not yet smooth as this bottle is spinning as well so how we can fix it is um, you have to trace it again trace to the parts that you feel like shaking too much and then you start from there all right so As you can see, like imagine this is just two seconds of the video, but it's taking like <laughs> probably an hour or two just to fix it. So when she picks it up right here, okay, let me just sort this part out. When she picks it up, I keep talking about speed ramping, but simply what speed ramping is, you speeding your clip so that it kind of goes faster than normal and um, in this instance I'll probably put my speed at let's see 250 so 250 yeah So as you can see, you can barely see the cut of the masking tool, unless you're going frame by frame, all right? So I'll just work on this again, and then you guys can see the finalized product. Like I mentioned, all your time should be invested in making your mask look really nice. If you try to rush it, it will not even look nice. So take your time, and you will really appreciate the end result. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.